Jeep goes back in the long drive. <laughs> Welcome back to 50 kilometers or more and maybe a lot of accidents as the case may be most of the time. My frame rate's crap again. Every time I log in the game, frame rate's crap. I'm hoping it'll fix itself. There's rabbits everywhere. Look at them. They're there. They're there. They're there. They're right here. There's that one. Like, there's, they're everywhere. Sorry, I just woke up. My throat is a little chewed up. Ugh. Okay. So, I might just because there's a ton of stuff here laying around. I got steal the gas. Uh, um, that's why it slowed down, but I don't know. I guess we'll find out as I as I drive along here. Let's just uh, get rid of that. Okay. So, I'm going to get in the car. I think that uh, we might just sleep for the first night of this because, you know, reasons. I looked in this building over here. There's so much stuff in there, I'm scared to go into it because I'm afraid I'm going to die for some random objects. So, we're going to fall asleep and do this. The only thing we could do is there's a lot of paint in there, so we could paint the car. Um, all sorts of random colors. I really need, uh, red paint. So maybe we should go check, because you never know, right? Okay, but you can't really paint in this light. And there's another pumpkin. I need this pumpkin. Um, you can't really paint in this light, because you can't tell what color you're ending up with. <laughs> or what color you're even starting with. Look at this. We got all sorts of pumpkins here. Okay. This has to go on the weird hand. All right. Okay. Put you there. All right. There we go. You're kind of facing the wrong way, so we'll just, uh, there we go. Let's try that. Ugh. There you go. Pumpkin. <laughs> okay. Pumpkins are fun. Okay. Woo. That was a rough one. Okay. Oh, geez. Okay. I'm out of breath for that one. All right. Yes. Someone said I went full Schwarzenegger when I did that, um, <laughs> which is really hilarious, actually. Um, and I'm shouting out Florida Man because he asked a while back. So, yes, Florida Man, this one's for you. Well, it's not for you, but you're definitely involved. Um, what do we got here? We got everything. We got dangly poos. There's, like, everything here, everything you could ever imagine. Um, what's this? This is oil. There's Karens. There's lots of – I don't see any red paint, though. So, let's pick a color, and we'll try to get everything that color. Let's, uh, I think we should go with this this blue, maybe? Because this blue is easy to recognize, because it's very, very bright. So, I think we're going to go with the blue car, and see what we can come up with. Because, uh, I'm kind of at the point where I just want the car all the same color. <laughs> I think that's about as blue as it's going to get. I think. We'll put a 30% on this, and we'll see, because that'll take us to 40, and I think that'll make it... Is that that's still a different color? It is. So, yeah, here we go. Look at that. It's it's just very, very hard to get a color match after you get to a certain point. There we go. Okay, well, we'll just keep looking for this blue, and we'll keep, uh, we'll keep making it more blue. So, 50 kilometers or more, uh, we are currently sitting at 626, so we got to get to 676 at a uh, minimum. Um... I don't know why the frame rate's so bad right now, but I'm just going to assume it's because the uh, <laughs> there's so much junk over there. Rabbit, I see you! Okay, you look like a friendly one. Never mind. Don't get in front of the car. Thank you. We got so many pumpkins right now. Okay, here we go. Let's get away from that thing. That bus is having a meltdown. That might also explain the frame rate. Look out, bus! <laughs> don't go psychotic on me! No! <laughs> Stop it, bus! <laughs> this, is, this is bad. It's just... There we go. There, it's smooth. The frame rate smoothed out some. Um, it's still not great, though, actually. But it smoothed out some. There we go. Look at this. All right, so we're going to try to find blue paint and paint the car blue. I don't think I've ever had a completely blue car. Um, I like the color blue. It reminds me of the sky and all the wonderful things that are in the sky, like birds and clouds. I saw a conspiracy once that said birds aren't real. Like, what kind of weird conspiracy is that? <laughs> birds aren't real. It's crazy talk, man. I've seen birds. Lots of them. And someone said they're little government drones. Like, there's pictures of birds from, like, the, the 13th century. They weren't government drones back then. That's crazy. Ugh, government, no birds. What's wrong with people? Yeah, so blue paint. We need to find blue paint. So we may stop a little more often until we can uh, overdo it on that weird blue. Because that blue is easy to recognize because it's so bright. And once we get painted blue, then we can go back to 10% on everything. From that point forward. Okay, I just about died. All right, there we go. This is going to be a good one. I can feel it in my bones. I have no fear today. Everything is going to come up scapegoat. 
Yeah, my frame rate is still kind of weird, but that's all right. You know, one episode of not great for I, it's got to be all the stuff I'm carrying at this point that's starting to cause it. I had that problem when I had all the Karens in the car, <laughs> the frame rate tanks. But that's that's okay. <laughs> you're, allowed, you're allowed to have shitty frame rates sometime. It's just it's it's okay to have. So how are you guys doing? Guess what? Guess what? Like I was talking about getting my steering wheel. I uh. I think I may be able to grab it sometime soon. It's super duper duper on sale right now. Okay. Okay, recover. Come on. Ugh. Tokyo Drift. All right, there we go. You see the way the car is bouncing? There's too much junk in this car. <laughs> and not even one bit of that junk is in my trunk. I don't understand. It's, uh, it's the weight of the car. The car is overweighted. The pumpkins aren't helping. And everything I add from this point forward is going to make it bounce off the road. But that's all right. Okay, come on, car. Climb this crappy hill. Uh, at least the terrain is getting a little more interesting from all the flatness. Uh, I love the flat terrain. It's my favorite. Because you don't have to think about the flat terrain. It's just there doing its flat terrain thing. But uh, it's nice to see some variation again. Although I don't like the hills. I always hated hills. I hate hills because the car doesn't brake straight. The car does not brake straight. When you hit the brakes at all, if you're moving in any direction, the car just wants to spin out. There we go. That's what the nice thing about having the steering wheel is, uh, is that when I first played the game, when I first got it, I used my old steering wheel. What's nice is you can ease into the brakes, so you're just kind of dragging the brakes as opposed to they're on or off kind of thing. Because the way it works now, the way I play it, it's just the brakes lock up. Like, that's the that's the thing. The brakes attempt to lock up, and then that's it. Oh. Uh, uh, there, okay, this is bad. This, this is, okay, there we go. Okay, don't. The car is, is rotating funny because of all the weight. Yeah, don't overload your car. This is part of the reason I kept telling people. travel I travel light all the time. The people who load, like, who's that guy that's playing it right now? I just watched SATA plays. Yeah, he, he's uh, making the mistake that everybody does when they first start playing the game. Myself, Devil Road, myself included. Try, you, you grab everything because you think you're going to need everything and you don't need it. And that's how you get yourself killed because the car gets overweighted. See how my car's bouncing and crashing into the ground there? Um, it's, uh, it's caused by all the excessive weight. And if you have too much weight, your car handles like garbage. So the the let the the the, the, the 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 less you can carry, the better you're off. Because also too, if you corner hard or you get onto the off the road a little bit, like one wheel off the road, like I just did. If you get one wheel off the road and then it catches when you're coming back on the road, the whole car flips. So watch yourself, people out there who are playing this game. Uh, careful of your weight. The only reason I'm overweighted is because I'm a moron. <laughs> Okay, there we go. Everything's working good so far. One little spin out, but that's not terrible. I can handle a little, uh, little bit of a spin out. Okay, here we go. I like those five rock formations there. They kind of remind me of like a finger is coming out of the ground or back of a dinosaur. I like that. Keeps me happy. Oh, yeah. I just worked all last night, and then I got up and decided to record right away so I could uh, have sushi this evening, actually. That's my plan anyway. We'll see how that works out. Sushi and Sapporo. Anybody who likes beer knows Sapporo. Okay. Um, either because either you love it or you hate it. <laughs> yeah, the frame rate's not good right now. It's got to be all this junk I'm carrying around. Oh, well. Next episode, we'll clean up the car. Move some things, maybe. It might be all the kumpai that I have. I probably don't need the 400. Oh, Jesus. It's got that rock. Whoa. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Someone compared me to Mongolian throat singers, by the way. And those guys are like, oh, 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 oh. Yeah, like, that's not, that's not very nice. Those poor Mongolians don't want to be compared to me. <laughs> they, they have a real talent, man. Don't don't insult them like that. Yeah, watch these guys call it. They're called the, uh, the Who, the H-U, not the Who is in the other band. Uh, Totem of the Wolf or Wolf Totem or something like that. Yeah, go watch it. Look it up on the on the on the YouTube. There, it's uh, it's like a modern biker gang rock video, but with Mongolian throat singing. At least I think they're Mongolian. I could be wrong, uh, but it's pretty incredible. I gotta tell you, you should go see that. 
Go look it up. It's it, it's actually really an awesome song. <laughs> yes, Wolf Wolf to Wolf Totem. I think it is something like that. Yeah, go look it up by the Who. The H U. The H U. They're uh, they're pretty incredible. I didn't know you, people can make music like that nowadays. It's pretty it's pretty awesome actually. Oh God, this is what you know when you wake up and your throat just will not work and you can't create certain sounds that easily. Yeah, I'm at that point. Oh, it's making me feel out of breath because I'm really forcing my voice to be higher pitched than it normally is. All right, here we go. Uh, over the hills and through the woods. Yeah, if we get to the end of this and there's nothing, I'm going to be so mad. Hey, there's something on the horizon over there. I see you. Uh-huh, okay. Yeah, frame rate's crap right now. I don't know what's going on there, but I'm sure we can fix it. Okay, there's so much grass here. Just got to watch out for the grass. Grass hides rocks, and rocks are bad. I think about 30 episodes ago, there was a rabbit hiding in one once. It was when I was editing the video. I went around the grass, and you could see a rabbit just sitting there. Okay, okay. Uh... There we go. All right. Oh, oh, there's a rock here. Get out of the way. We got a rock coming through. Yeah, I got that morning voice thing right now. It's and I can make my voice like go even extra deep <laughs> from where it normally is. <laughs> what do we got here? There's a house or something. What is this? I want to stop. I want to explore. I want to see what I want to see what's going on. Oh, I think my nose is running a bit. My allergies are acting up. This has been a day. Like it's been a day so far. Like yesterday, you know, when I was recording, uh, look at this, this rock has taken over the house. When I was recording my summer car, same thing. It was just a day. All right. Let's, uh, take the ignition off here. All right. Uh, yeah, it does feel like the frame rate is not quite right. Like if it's, if it's like anything under about 58 frames a second, I can feel it. Okay. Okay. Auto save. Oh, jeez. Takes the breath away. All right. Um, let's see here. This is a little motor for the bike. This is some binoculars. Let's go look at those. I have some in the car, actually. I can just use those, but oh no, here we go. Okay. Here we are. I don't see anything. Sometimes there's a Harry Potter broom on the roof here. Uh, Nothing on the roofs today, eh? Let's uh let's take a gander through these. Whoa. Nothing. Okay. Oh, oh, look at that. There's something way out there. Uh-huh. Not a lot going on. You know, I kind of missed the depth of field in this. I turned it off because a lot of people were complaining about it like a long, long time ago. But I do like the depth of field. We got a double building. We got a watchtower. What else we got? Another du What is that? Is that thing popping on the horizon? Was that a rabbit? Where'd it go? <laughs> I saw something popping around on the horizon there. Uh-huh. That's a cacti. Uh-huh. Okay. I don't see anything out here, man. This is like, it's way more desolate than it used to be. Look at that. That's a big garage. Way, way, way out there. Why ain't driving that far off the beaten path to get to a garage? All right. Let's, uh. Let's let's head on down the highway. Let's see. It's that patch panel thing. It's like somebody fixed their roof with a big piece of corrugated steel. Let's see here. All right, where are we? Uh, 626. Oh, we're uh, not quite 20 kilometers into this. All right, let's keep going. Find some more blue paint. The car is now looking like a clown car again. So, uh, looks like one of those famous paintings, you know? <laughs> Uh, so from the impressionist period, okay. Yeah, the frame rate is garbage. It's garbage. Look at it. Ugh. Now it's hard to tell because sometimes, some days, the game just runs like crap. For whatever reason, it'll just run like garbage. Other days, it's because you're carrying too much. Some days, it just happens to be you're close to, uh... What's this? Is this a little, a little a gas station? It is. It's a weird place for a gas station. Let me just stop here for a sec. But yeah, some days the frame rate's just crap. Like, as you can see, it's not great today. I don't know. I'm not going to complain about it too much. I've already talked about it enough. Oh, we got a whole... Oh, I hear an airplane. Okay, what's this? We got... Uh, kind of greeny blue paint. That's not what I wanted. 
Although I kind of like that color. Okay, there we go. This is uh, gray paint. Nothing here I want. All right. Moving on. All right. Got to get there. All right, there we go. And sometimes you'll be playing, and then, and then, and this isn't a complaint about the frame rate, but the frame rate won't be great. And you'll be playing, and then for no reason, after about 20 minutes, 30 minutes, it just starts being better. For whatever reason. There we go. Let's see here. Yeah, we got a bunch of stuff in the distance there, but it's going to be a while before we get to it. There we go. Where's, where's the road? There. <laughs> There's like, where's, I can see the road over there. Where's the road beside me? All right. Boy, I'm just, I'm sailing down this hill and I'm waiting for one of those big rocks to show up suddenly. Oh, the car is bouncing so hard. Oh, there's a big rock. Okay. Oh God, there it is. There's the bounce. See, see. Okay, come on. Do your thing. There you go. Come on. <laughs> Suck it, game. I got you all figured out. I got your controls down pat, bro. Try to tell me how to live my life. Yeah, that little bounce there, eh? Just come and just gets you. All right, let's just ease back onto the road here. There we are. Put on the lights. Uh, double lights, I guess. Put on the brights there. There we go. Now we can drive through the night a little bit. There we are. Okay. Oh, oh. Okay, no, no, it's a rock. Get out of the way of the rock. Okay, don't go off the road. That's how you end up damaging yourself. God damn. Oh my god. <laughs> the bouncing is ridiculous. It's got to be all the pumpkins, man. The pumpkins are adding a ton of weight to the car. I don't want to give up my pumpkins, though. I like my pumpkins. All right. Okay, is that a building out there? Or is that just a shiny rock? I get confused by the shiny rock sometimes. Oh, it's gone now. So it doesn't matter. Oh! I can't see. Okay, you just got to keep this. Keep the head down until the sun's below the horizon. Oh, there it is again. Ow. Man, that's sun. Like, you know, the song says, you know, Mr. Sun, please shine down on me. I don't think so. All you do is make me blind. All right, there we are. Perfect. I'm going to drive through this night, I think. Although with this car now being so bouncy, it's a little dangerous to drive through the night. I might have to ditch the pumpkins. I just might have to. Oh, God. Off the road, it's going to spin or flip or something. Okay. Or get rid of the television. The television is the, is the heaviest thing I've got. So it would not surprise me if, uh, if I got rid of the television, if everything would smooth itself out. I'm not getting rid of Karen. I keep blowing her up, so <laughs> that just seems like the wrong thing to do now. Can only get married to so many Karens. Like, how many Karens could there possibly be out there? Ah, uh, the night. The darkness. Okay, big rock. Okay, okay, back off the road and then ease on without too much speed. There we go. Perfect. This is going not too shabby so far. We've had a couple of moments, you know, but moments don't equate to death. That's all that matters. Death is our is our enemy, not uh, not moments. <laughs> oh yes. So here's a question for anybody who's made it this far in the video: um, Do you want me to do the drive? You know what? I'll just put a poll up. I'll do a poll on my community chat because we're getting near the end of this game. And do you want me to do the journey home? Is that something anybody wants to see? Because I want to do it. I think, uh, but I don't want to do it if nobody wants to see it, you know? Got a couple of uh, towers here. One's a double building and the other's just a radio, regular old radio tower. Oh, oh God. Okay. Pay attention, Scapegoat. What are you doing, bud? Jeez. All right. Okay. So I'm going to pull up and see if people actually want to see that because I don't want to do that if people don't want to watch it. Oh. And I think I'm going to call it The Long Drive Homeward Bound. <laughs> There's an old movie with those two dogs and a cat. They get left behind by their owner, owners. I think it was called The Incredible Journey. Um, 
Uh, I think later on they, they made one called Incredible Journey Homeward Bound, and that's where I'm kind of getting the name from. Yeah, this is just a frame rate is crap. I'm going to have to look into reasons why, but that'll be the next episode. I can't help the frame rate being crap now. We're too far into this. That's another double building. I do not like the double buildings at all. All sorts of reasons why the double buildings are terrible. All right, so what's this? A little gas station. No, you know, I'm not going to stop until daytime. Uh, that way I don't have to worry about it. Uh, being dark and rabbits getting me. <laughs> I'm a little paranoid of the rabbits lately. I've had a couple close calls with rabbits lately, and I don't want to risk it. It's, it seems like it's a bad idea, but hey, what do I know? Okay. Oh, yeah. What do I know? You know, I know a lot about this game. You know, when people are, people are questioning me about it, they're like, oh, you should do this. Why aren't you carrying gas? It's like, dude, I've got this game. I've got this game locked down. I know exactly what you need to do. To, I should teach a master class. That master class thing, I've got that. I watched a couple of those. They're really cool. I want to teach a master class on the long drive. I can, I can master class the crap out of this. About what you need, what you don't need. About how you don't put bus tires on your car, because that's a really stupid idea. <laughs> As we remember for the episodes where my car was flipping down the road, the bus engine is a bad idea. It's such terrible gas mileage. Okay, whoa, look at this. We got a big old rock here. The rocks are bigger lately. Look at this. All the rocks are big. What's going on? You know, it's the big rocks aren't so bad because you can see them from a ways off. It's when they get those small ones that show up on the road. That's the worst because you don't see them until the last second sometimes. Or they get obscured by a shadow and like a lump in the road like that. And then boom, you're flipping your car across the desert. Ugh. Oh, we got some more grass here. I'm just wondering if there's going to be any warning to the end. Like, is it just going to just end and I'm just not going to see it coming? It's going to be a little strange. I've only got a few hundred kilometers left, so if that... It's kind of a, uh, it's kind of sad for me, really. It makes me sad. Now, the only thing that it makes me wonder is, I had to upgrade computers a couple months back. So, I had to delete the game, but I copied the save game over. So I'm hoping that didn't affect something where it's like, oh, the save game uh, resets to zero. I don't think so, because according to the save game, it still matches my kilometers. So I like, but you never know, right? Like, there could be something in there that's a little strange. But I guess we'll, uh, we'll find out as we go. And every week, everybody, everybody can be different, apparently. So, like, when you get, like, everybody's distance is a bit different because of the way the world generation works out. So, there could be a difference of several hundred kilometers. Uh, it's not a set standard thing. So, you know, some people finished early, uh, under 5,000 kilometers. Some people finished over and... He has since patched the game, so it might be longer now, for all we know, or shorter. Like, we, we don't know the exact the exact distances on this, so I guess we'll uh, we'll find out when it happens, if it ever does. Maybe it never happens now. Maybe it's infinitely generated. And I'll be doing this for the next 20 years of my life. i got to find the end of this goddamn game. I need to. Oh, my goodness. What did I say I needed to get to? 76? Yeah, 76 I think it was. Oh, we got this little... What the heck is going on here? Oh, it's just a gas station. You know what? Actually, I could use the gas. Let's pull in here and get the... Uh, oh, I, don't, I don't need the gas, I guess, but I'd like to have a close to full of tank as possible. Let's uh, pull on in here. All right, stop it. Ignition off, but I'm going to leave the lights on. All right. I think I saw gas here. Where was it? Was this gas? Gas. All right, here we go. Gotta watch, listen for rabbits. There we go. Gotta be real careful out here. I'll tell you, you guys play this game. Watch out for those rabbits. The game does save, so it's not that big a deal. As you can see, my game auto saves constantly, but... Uh, it, it, like, it, it, it's weird, because it only auto saves... When you're, uh, when you stop somewhere. So if you've driven a long ways without stopping, uh, oh good, the sunrise is coming. 
if you've driven a, a, like a really long distance without stopping um, and then die in a car accident, you're going to have to recover that whole distance. Or if you get out of the car and it doesn't autosave right away, because it never autosaves the moment you get out of the car and your rabbit gets you, you're going to lose possibly dozens of kilometers, if not hundreds, depending on how you play the game. Like, I can easily play the game and drive three or 400 kilometers and then stop and get fuel at a bunch of stops and refuel up the car after, you know, six or eight stops. I just don't. Uh, this is, I play it safe. It's <laughs> like I said, this isn't about... Like, a lot of YouTubers are just playing the game for fun, and that's awesome. Like, you just go in and, you know, drive really fast and make fun of the fact the car explodes when it gets in accidents. I'm trying to accomplish a goal <laughs> with the game, so I play it much more safe than most of those YouTubers do. So I hope you don't mind my safety-based approach to the game. Uh, you know, we have a process, and it seems to be working for us. You know, my biggest fear is that as I'm just playing this and I'm not ready for it, the road's going to end, and I'm going to be like, what the, what the... Okay, fine, road. Whatever you want, buddy. Because there's got to be an end of the generation. Like, it can't go on forever. Like, even Minecraft, for its infinite worlds, has a limit to its generation. I once uh, used commands in Minecraft to teleport myself to what they call the Far Lands. And that's like the edge of where the game can generate, and the game breaks down a bit, and it doesn't run that great, and it's it's pretty awful. Um, and then the world generation gets all out of whack. Now, this is in the earlier versions of Minecraft, so maybe they fixed it since. But, like, the chunks loaded funny, and, like, it was just this weird... I, I played for about 20 minutes, maybe half an hour. The frame rate was about 18 frames a second, but it was kind of cool to see that the game was... It was, like, it was like millions and millions and millions of blocks away. It was really awesome to watch. But you can watch videos on the Firelands. There was that dude that uh, did that super duper long play where he walked to the Firelands. Like that was his whole playthrough. And he, he was kind of part of, I can't remember his name at the moment, but he was kind of the inspiration for this. Like, play it out. Now this isn't nearly as epic of an adventure as walking to the Firelands over like six years or whatever it took. But it's definitely uh, my own personal challenge here. I don't want to spend eight years doing a game. <laughs> Like, it's just, there's something about that endurance challenge. Like, people are good at stuff like, um, like, uh, you know, being the best at Call of Duty or being the best Fortnite player or whatever. And that, that that's a, that's a respectable skill set except for Fortnite. Um, no, I'm kidding. <laughs> no, it's respectable when you can get that good at stuff. And I think it's amazing. But I always find endurance challenges much more interesting. Like, people who try to do the longest plank or, you know... Um, hyper mile a car for the best gas mileage you can get or um, like things like that or, or marathons and people who run like a marathon a day for 30 days like the endurance challenges are always the ones that uh, catch my attention and I think there's a super certain subset of people like myself that really enjoy that kind of playthrough of games whoa I can see right under the world what the okay this is a big hill again I haven't seen one of the hills like this in a long time. It's kind of nice. What's up, Hill? What's going on, buddy? You, you out here being all... What, what is this, like 30 degrees? Yeah, what's going on? <laughs> oh, we're going to make it up the hill. Come on, buddy. Come on. I wonder if you can ever overload the car to the point where you couldn't climb the hill. Like, is that is that, a, is that a thing? I should try it. I should go get a bunch of full oil barrels from a ship. And just load the car up. And see if you can uh, wait the car down to the point where they can't climb a hill. And we are cresting the hill here a little bit. Oh, we're getting closer. Now comes the downhill section where this gets a little uh, dicey. Nope, no, we're okay. We got more. We got more hill to climb. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Uh, there we go. It's just a little bit of a little bit of a run up here. A little downhill to get some speed. I still want a 1989 Ford Taurus. <laughs> I don't know why. I just think it'd be hilarious. I owned one back in the day. Uh, it was my own personal car for a long time uh, when I was a child. And I just, I want a 1989 Ford Taurus. <laughs> it was a hell of a reliable car. Like people always, uh, oh, Taurus was crap. No, it was, it was amazing. It was like the most reliable automobile you've ever driven in your life. 
They said they had transmission problems, and the person who owned it before I did did have a transmission problem they fixed, but after they got it fixed, uh, I, I never had a single problem with anything. The body rotted off of it. I live in the salt belt, so the body rotted off of it before the engine or anything ever had a problem. But it went it went forever. Like, it just it had hundreds and hundreds of thousands of kilometers on it. Ugh. There we go. Okay, okay. We're a little bouncy. I need to itch my nose. There we are. There we go. Okay. This is good. This is good. It's got to, uh... Why do I always get itchy noses when it gets a little bit exciting and downhillish? I can't tell how many times I've been itching my nose when a rabbit has showed up. Allergies. Leave me alone. <laughs> and that sucks in the winter because I have forced air heat, like gas heat, with the, the furnace has the forced air on it. And so, it, okay, whoa, 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 bus. The bus caused that. Anyway, the forest air heat. Okay, we're just going to spin out here for a second. All right. Uh, blows a lot of dust around. <laughs> this bus is in good shape. Look at this. And lights off. All right. We got a Karen and another pumpkin. Oh, I'm rubbing on it. All right, I'm just marking my territory. This bus is in good shape. Let's see here. Ignition off. Let's see. It's a white bus. I feel like the... Okay, this is the kind of bus you would see on a... Uh, in a science fiction movie if they're ushering all the people to camps to take their organs or something. What is the purpose of that? Is that like a... Is that like a cart like for a luggage or something? Let me guess. I'm going to guess, based on my knowledge of the game, that the engine will be here because, well, I can see that, but it'll have a rusted out radiator. Oh, it's got a full brand new radiator in it. Look at that. How's the engine? What's it got going on? I can't, I can't see. I can't see. Where's the, where's, the, where's the oil cap? There it is. Okay. Okay. Let's just get in there. Okay. I can't. Oh, it's got oil in it and everything. Man, if you can find some diesel right now, there's your bus. That's your bus right there. Okay, just got to... Okay, there we go. Yeah, that's your bus. Perfect bus. Any ships around? I don't see any ships. Where's my... Uh... There's rabbits, though. There's lots of rabbits. Where's my binoculars? I, they're in here somewhere. Ugh, it's so much junk. You know what? Forget it. I'm a... Uh... What's nice to know, though, what's actually going to be interesting is that this bus might be the way home bus if it's still here in my saved game. If the game generates like that and you have the same path on the way home, um, that means this bus will be here so we can grab it on the way home because my intention is to get a bus for the drive home. That is my intention. This bus is in real good shape, too. I like that. Actually, you know what I want to do? And this is going to sound really strange. Because I'm never going to be able to do this, but my original car, the station wagon with all the multicolored panels I pushed down the hill in one episode as a farewell when I decided to switch up cars. Um, that's, I want to find that to finish. Uh, if, I, if I do a homeward bound version of this or episodes of this, I want to find that car to go across the finish line with. There's a lot of, ah, dancing bus. <laughs> Look out. It's a wild bus. Untamed by untamed by nature. <laughs> Just living its own existence out here. Wild Bus. Be a good name for a cologne. Wild Bus by Versace. <laughs> yes, that's what we need. Oh yeah, that bus is really upset about something. I don't know what's upset about, but it's it's real upset. Okay, where are we now? Let's see here. We're getting close, I know that. Oh yeah, we're we're real close. Alright. Okay, don't bounce like that car. Don't do that. Okay. Okay, we got we got a building coming up. We gotta slow it down a bit. Alright, there we go. We don't wanna get dead, not yet. Maybe that's what I'll do when I get to the end of this is kill just you know just get have my car run me over. <laughs> to learn my lesson. Okay, there we are. There we are. Yeah, but I'll put a poll up so you guys can tell me if you want to see me drive home. Okay, whoa, 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 the frame rate extra tanked. 
All right, here we go. Let's stop in here. Might fail to find some extra blue paint. All right, the frame rate's really bad now. Look at this. Ugh. Trabant, what's up, bud? Ugh. Okay. I need you to get off. I need you to grab this. All right, let's uh, let's get you on the road here like such. And poof. Oh, let go. There you go. Have fun. Don't get lost or anything. Make sure you write your mom. All right, let's see here. Okay, I grabbed the wrong door. All right, there we are. Got some purple paint. We got some diesel. Oh, we can take that diesel back, but it's like less than a liter of diesel. That is not going to last forever. The frame rate is just dead. Yep, something's going on with my game. I got to work on that. But that's all right. Let's see here. Um, not much going on here. There's a television here, but that's... What's in this? That's just oil. That's more oil. I don't really need oil, I don't think. Let's, let's double check. We probably need a bit, because I don't think I filled up last... Oh, I think I filled up, like, early last episode. Yeah, we're down a little bit. Let's get, uh... Let's get some oil. We only need... What, what was that? Was that, was that a car screeching? T tire screeching? All right, let's uh, put that in there. That fills that up. All right. Perfect. Okay. Now that that's solved. That radiator's been a rock star, though. It doesn't leak. I like that. I don't see any blue paint. I do see a scrubby, though. If anybody needs a scrubby, I think I see a vampire bat hangy dangly thing. Um, dingy dang, dingle dangly. All right, let's see here. We got computers. We got what appears to be a green bumper over there. Headlight. I'm not seeing much. I'm seeing clear glass headlights, which would look awesome in here and get rid of these orange side markers, but, you know, to each their own. Okay, whoa, whoa, whoa. All right, what's that? There's something on the horizon over there. You can just see it right there. Let's see. Um, oh, there's our binocs right there. Give me this. All right. Oh, I dropped my road lotion. I got to get that back. Where'd it go? I saw it. I know you're there, whatever you are. There you are. Is that it? That is a house. Okay. Um. What is that out there? That looks like maybe a well. I'm not seeing anything interesting in the, in, on the horizon. I want to find another one of those houses. Those weird houses that I've only found one of. That is the sideways of a double building. Uh, whoa! Jesus. Oh yeah, someone said I can climb this by using the door. Road lotion, we need- get in there, bud! Come on! Can't go anywhere though, road lotion? That's the rules. What am I climbing on the thin bit here? Alright, let me see. Uh, whoa, there we go! Uh, let's see. What about this radio transmitter's for? Oh, look at this. This is kind of cool up here. Yeah, not much going on here. Let's get out of here. We only got a few kilometers left to cover. We might as well cover it. All right. Especially with the frame rate the way it is. So five more K, and then we're done with this episode. And I'll make sure the frame rate's fixed. A lot of times I can fix it. If and This is going to sound really strange. I can fix the frame rate by resetting my computer, but it has to be twice. I don't know why. And, and put that in perspective, this has been true on this computer that I built and my old computer that I had before this one uh, a couple months back. If you reset it once, game doesn't care. If you reset it twice, game cares. It's a weird, it's a well I got wrecked. It's a weird thing. Ugh. Now at five kilometers, going up this hill is gonna be a bear. Okay, we're just gonna, instead we're gonna decide to lose control over the car and go flying into the desert at too fast of a speed. Okay. All righty. There we go. Perfect. Oh, geez. There we go. Okay, ow, stop bouncing. Fool. Ah, oh, there we go. Frame rate's smoothing out a little bit. But yeah, like I said, if you reset it twice, sometimes you can get your frame rate to, to go. And I'm not talking just reset the game. I'm talking reset your computer. But twice. But twice. Oh, but twice, my friend. But twice. What is this? 
This is one of those water tower, radio tower, whatever those things are. There's never anything at these things, though. Like, I don't see what the, the point of them are, but I don't see a point of a lot of things in this game, and they're still there, so. It looks like it's got a panel on it as well. Or something. What is that white thing that's shining? Let's go take a look while we're here near one. It's just a light. Okay, it's just a light on it. But... I have flown up to the top one of those in my Harry Potter room when I had one. And there wasn't anything up there. There was nothing up there. There we go. Come on, baby. Gotta be careful in the desert right now with the thing bottoming out so easily. Last thing we want to do is cartwheel through the desert and have the cactus steal our gas. Okay, why is that? Okay, I was gonna say, why is that not spawning in over there? There we go. We're getting to the road now, boys. We're just about there, and ladies. I always forget that, you know, and I don't see a lot of women on my channel, and I wish there was more because I think I'm pretty, uh, pretty friendly guy. But um, I always forget about poor uh, ham sandwich Betty out there when I mentioned it in the boys. But you know, I consider using the term as a Canadian using the term boys is a general a gender neutral term so it's not uh it's just it's just something we say it's like saying dude here you know where it's like boys you know it's just kind of a thing we do and uh it doesn't mean we're talking about men oh my god look at the look at the slope here uh. oh we got some generation problems here don't drive over that look at this a, there was a gap in the road Oh, I gotta turn my lights on. Ugh. There we go. All right. Yeah. So when I say boys, I'm referencing everybody. It's not. It's a gender neutral term. Um. So please, <laughs> don't don't be insulted. If you are uh, not one of the boys, that's cool. Well, let's see here. Um. Whoa. What's the sun doing? Okay. Oh, uh, can't see. Can't see. All right. Here we go. Now we got a little downhill. Oh, a little selection of downhill type stuff. Nice. We better uh, better get ready on the brakes here. Oh god. Oh dear lord. How steep is this thing? Okay, that's that's not. Uh, 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 okay. Oh god. Yeah, frame rate's crap. Hey, so which one of you guys got the PlayStation Five? Anybody out there got one yet? Hope you're enjoying it. If you do, looks like a good time. Whoa, okay. Uh, uh, there we are. There we are. Okay, just relax. Relax, game. There we go. There, I think we're over over the most of the most of the problem here. Okay, whoa, okay. Whoa, we're out. Oh, there, no, we're not. Uh, yeah, that bottoming out is gonna that's what'll get you, man. That's why you gotta travel light. I've broken my own rules. And also when it comes to handling, your handling's off when you're so weighted down. It messes with your head. Alrighty. Oh god. Oh. Perfect. Alright. Let's see here. What do we got coming up? I don't see anything because of the night, but I wonder if I should stop. Possibly and relax. Well not with that rabbit in the way. Get out of the way! Jesus! That's how you end up dead, rabbit! Let's see here, how far are we along? Oh yeah, we're over now. So, it's just a matter of finding the next good sized building. I don't like stopping at the little bus stops, it feels lame. Of course, that'll be the next 12 buildings you watch. All right. Just gotta keep going until we find something here. Oh yeah, right, okay. Oh, here we go, this'll work. We'll sleep till morning though, because I don't want to, uh, don't want to send off at night. I don't like doing that. Let's uh, let's park here on the road here for a second. All right, there we go. Oh, yeah, there we go. Uh, ignition off. Get inside. Let's have a little sleep, sleep, sleep. Okay. Freaking auto save. And the world spins by. 
I want to know where those airplanes are going. All right, let's go take a quick peek in here, and then we'll end the episode. Let me see. So many pumpkins, so few dreams. Okay, we got this blue. You want this blue? I got blue. All right, so we got this thing, which someone said, by the way, they keep telling me you can fuel up with these. Um, unless something's changed, you cannot. We'll go try it out. Ready? You ready? Prove me wrong. Yep, see? Oh, you can't, you can't, you can't fuel up with these. It's not possible anymore. It used to be, but you cannot do it anymore. All right. Put this here and roll down the hill. See you around, bud. What, what am I, oh, it's my, it's my ammo. Okay. Keep going. Keep going. Airplane? I see, I can hear you, bud. Where are you? He's hiding in that sun. Got it. All right, so we're over, where are you, airplane? Oh, there you are. I see your contrail. There it is. Airplane! It would be so funny if you hit it and it crashed. <laughs> All right, so uh, we're gonna end this episode here. So, thank you so much for watching. If you like this, please leave a comment, maybe subscribe. Hit that little bell to get notifications, you silly rabbit. Oh, you're lucky, you're lucky! Oh God, is he coming this way? No, 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 get out of here. Yeah, uh, oh yeah, so if you like this, please leave a comment, maybe subscribe, hit the little bell if you want notifications of my new stuff coming out. And if you don't want notifications, don't hit that bell. That's just stupid. Either way, love every view I get. Hope you tune in next time. Scapegoat. Out.